Well, my truck was stolen from in front of my house about a week ago. I doubt I'm ever going to get it back. I want to put these things on my bike as soon as possible so that the same thing doesn't happen to my bike that happened to my truck. If anybody does try to take my bike, I want to make sure that with the help of these air tags, I'm going to get it back. But there are a couple of things you have to do in order to make sure that this air tag is going to be as effective as possible. All right, so let's just go ahead and open these up. All right, so the packaging of these things is uh, always about the same, right? So let's go ahead and pull one of them out. As I said, there are a couple of things that you're going to want to do. So when I go ahead and pull this out, this guy is going to be uh, activated, or at least the battery is going to be activated. So I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. Pull out my phone. Got it right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tab out and it made a nice little futuristic sound to it. I'm gonna make sure that everything is good, okay. And so it says connect, so I'm gonna click connect. Uh, it's gonna be bike option, click continue. Uh, yes, AirTag is intended solely to track items that belong to you. Using AirTag to track people without their consent is a crime in many regions around the world. Bad news, if you're Hoping to use these for that, just don't do it. Don't do that, that's, that's not nice. AirTag is designed to be detected by victims and to enable law enforcement to request identifying information about the owner. Of course, I agree with that. That's exactly what I want to do with this device. And this little thing right here, this option, play sound, is fantastic for keys and things like that. But when I'm wanting to keep my bike safe, I don't want a sound to come from this device because you can use an app, which is what a professional thief or a thief who knows what they're doing will actually do. They'll pull out an app, they'll locate whether or not that there is a air tag located on that bike. They'll play the sound to find out exactly where the air tag is and take it out, deactivate it, chuck it, do whatever they want with it, and I will never see my bike again. So I need to make sure before I hide this anywhere on my bike, I need to make sure that this speaker does not play. And the only way that I know how to do that as of now is to remove the speaker from this device. So step one is to remove the back of this AirTag. Okay. There we go. Was able to twist it off. Took me a minute, but then we'll go ahead and pop the battery out just by tipping it over and pulling out right there. So I got the battery out now, the back off. And what we need to do is we need to pop this seal off. To do this, you're going to need something very, very thin. I got a little razor blade here, and there are three spots where there are clamps. And if you can see in here, see this section where there's there's three of these guys, one there, one there, one there. That's roughly the edge of them. So roughly here is where you're going to need to insert and dislodge the clamps, okay? And it's the same thing for this guy. Sorry, it's not really focusing here for you, but it's going to be roughly right there. And then same thing here where the end of that hole is. You're gonna insert it roughly right there. There we go. Little bit of damage to the piece here, but really what you're wanting to do is protect your bike, right? So uh, to damage these a little bit is no big deal. And then here's the third one. There we go. Got all three of them. Now it'll pop out. So we're gonna try to dislodge it here. And that is it there. The coil can stay in. The coil's not gonna be a problem, that copper coil there. Without this, the speaker will not work. So now what we need to do is pop these back in and we simply pay attention 
to where those nodes were. So those holes right there need to line up. As long as we get them to line back up where they were, if you can see that, there they are. We simply pop everything back into place. And then the next step is to put the battery back in and then to drop these back into place. They line up here. Make sure I'm in view so you can see it. There we go. Got it in place. All right, and so now I have Chris's bike pulled up here. It's connected. It's saying that it's with me. So I'll go ahead and try to play that sound. It's clearly not playing. Here's the bike, and I have uh, a new one just to show you the size of it in comparison so that you can see the kinds of places that this could go. I won't tell you where I placed mine, um, but I will say that I prefer locations that are not uh, things that can be easily removed. It's a very easy thing for a thief to do to just pop this off and throw the seat on the other side of the room, move the bike and decide and see if it's still moving with them. Same thing for a variety of attachments. I prefer having it attached in a location that really is going to require that the thief is in a location where they have tools available to them that they're going to be able to take the bike apart in order to find it. Because what that will do is it will allow uh, me as the person who's tracking them to find them while they are not mobile. All right, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully this helps me not lose my bike like I lost my truck. Ah, thieves, killing me.